Now I've got my lipstick on. I combed my hair before I came into <laughs> studio, and that is because, of course, we have the cameras in studio for our monthly beauty spot with the gorgeous Mary O'Donnell, who's Thank looking you. particularly lovely today. Thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Very well. Great stuff, uh, Mary. We thought we might do um, a little bit of uh, a few demonstrations today mm -hmm. on makeup and the do's and don'ts of applying it because. I often see these videos on Instagram and TikTok and they're usually younger, young women applying concealer or whatever and I look at them in awe and I think, my God, I've been doing it wrong all along. Yeah, and I think what an awful lot of people, even makeup artists of, say, kind of our generation, are actually not that into makeup as they would have been before because they're watching all these young tutorials and they they're like artists like I mean they're it's it's not just makeup it's like they're gone to another level altogether um and I think it can be quite intimidating because I have said to you before that I think feel when you go out there's nearly two sections of people it's it's like a certain age group and another younger where there's eyelash extensions there's everything is extended um, and it's very hard then to kind of think oh god am I am I doing it right and sometimes think you know makeup you can do whatever way you want so long as you know that you're comfortable with what you do and there is no hard and fast rules but sometimes a few little tips can kind of get you there they can of course yeah actually before we go any further and I'm always saying this to you off air but my, um, myself and Kaya who's here in studio with us from, from Radio Kerry's social media team uh, we were just chatting about how much we've both learned from you oh god thanks um, guys because <laughs> I, do, I do think that every month every single month I pick up something from, from you and I have to acknowledge Last month, what I picked up was you were talking about the importance of vitamin C mm -hmm. products for our skin. Yes. Down I went to CH right. and I found a, a Garnier vitamin C serum and I started using it. Major game changer. Yeah. Now, and you didn't ask me to mention this. No. CH didn't ask me to mention this. But I think it's important to spread the, the tips around to the Absolutely. listeners. Absolutely. Vitamin C, major game changer on my 54-year-old wrinkly skin. And I can tell you that sometimes an awful lot of got, has got to do with brightening your skin. So if you look at somebody, and we would have been of the age of sunbeds and sun and oh, more yeah. sun. So, and I, we were just actually off air talking earlier about the importance of using SPF when you're young. And that I was saying that when you're older, to kind of anybody young, you will remember me when you don't have lines and you don't have pigmentation. But the vitamin C has such a brightening effect on the pigmentation on your skin. So if you were a sun worshipper and you were... You, you like were, you and I both were oh, to, in to, our to, day. To the hilt, the difference put in vitamin C because it brightens up your whole face. And I actually met somebody yesterday in CH who had said the exact same as you have said. And she said, I can't get over how, how my difference. difference in my skin. Yeah. Just one little tip. It's a glow yeah, from one it's a glow. Tip. So well done, Mary. Oh, okay. Game you. changer <laughs> for me and thank you very much for that. So uh, you have enlisted the lovely Kaya to be I your, have. your guinea pig today, I think. Is that <laughs> right, that is, yes. Not We're that going. I'd ever call you a guinea pig Kaya, <laughs> but Kaya, uh, who works on Radio Kerry's social media team, and of course you'll all know her from Travels Through a Kingdom on Sunday evenings here on Radio Kerry. Kaya has very kindly agreed yes, to let Mary do uh, do her makeup. No, yeah, I'm sorry. You didn't uh, mind. <laughs> Kaya, do you do you wear my makeup much as in foundation and no that? not really because I do find actually if I'm wearing mascara throughout the day I rub my eye and then I think oh no I have a I'm like a panda eye. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay but you don't actually wear foundation per se no not, not that much because yeah, you're so young you don't need it <laughs> as, as, as it as is so tell me what have you on your skin at the moment so this morning all I did was cleanse and I put on a Vino moisturiser and that's it. Okay, perfect. So we're, we're kind of good to go. Yeah. Okay. probably two paste around the lips or something, <laughs> but that's about it. Right, so what we're going to start off with is a primer. Okay, so this is the SOS from Clarence. So I've, I'm using multiple different products today um, just to kind of get us into the whole idea of, of what we're, we're going using. So the primer should really go on. And this is like I, this for the busy person in the morning, which is nearly everybody going out the door. I would say put on your moisturiser, give it a few minutes and let your primer stay in for a few minutes as well because you don't want to kind of over apply too many products because it, it's too much, your skin can't take it. So maybe um, like what I would do is I put on my primer and make lunches and then I come back and I do my makeup. So right? leave, leave it time to seep in. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So Any particular one? So this is the, I have two here. This is the SOS from Clarence and what this is really is going to give a lovely glow to the skin. So it's just going to enhance the skin. So I'm just going to move over here. I've never done this before now. <laughs> New departure, New thanks departure. to the joys of Facebook. So you're just putting a little bit on both cheeks. Yeah, so what you can do is you can warm it with your hands, okay, and you can just apply it. So sometimes when you apply um, your any moisturiser, if it's warm, the heat of your hands will make it absorb much better. 
Okay. Okay. Another tip. Right. And you can do it like, and I always like, we're going out here. So you have nodes back here and nodes here. So we're going to drain everything out. So if you wake up in the morning and your skin is quite, um, you know, like any bit of puffiness, this will all help around the area. Okay, so primer, it does what it says in the tin, it primes your skin yeah. for the makeup. And I'm going to use a second primer now, again from Clarence, and this is going to give a, just a lovely feel to the makeup base. So Two primers. Two primers, and again, I'm going to warm it with my hands. So you do it at home, just warm it with your fingertips, and then just apply. Just a I tiny noticed, amount. I was going to say, I noticed you didn't use a huge amount. Just a tiny amount, because we, we want our foundation to go in just beautifully. Now, this is really good for any place like around the like under eyes. Had you had fine lines, which you don't, and um, it's really good for there because it stops makeup from going into any place, or if any open pores, it'll stop it going in there as well. Okay, so we're going to let that set in for a few seconds, and then it's really down to choice of how you put on your foundation. Do you want to use a brush? Do you want to use your hands? It's really down to you. Either are, is it? Yeah. Like yeah. I, I've I've taken to using brushes recently, and I do. They suit me, but then you. It depends. You'll hear makeup artists saying, "Nah, you'll only get it on the brush. Use your fingers." So yeah, and I know an awful lot of. What do you do, Mary? I use a brush, right? But I do find, think an awful lot of people do actually use. Um, I'm going to find one that's open now before I make loads of crinkly sounds. Um, that an awful lot of people um, do the top makeup artists use their fingers because of that they want the heat and they want the, they want that lovely glow to your skin so every time you increase the circulation to your skin you get that lovely glow so anybody who puts on the blusher it's to give that feeling that you're healthy and you're well and it's it's been part of makeup forever so they actually do use your hands but I find I get a better result with the brush so it's really down to your personal choice okay okay so then we're down to the, the old question of do you use your concealer first or your foundation first and that's another 50 50 right one. so yeah. what do you do what do i do mm -hmm. uh, foundation first and then concealer right okay and what would you do i would do the same right uh foundation as concealer i actually do a little bit of concealer first and then i'll do my foundation but then i'll really go back to the concealer okay this is only now if I, i'm going out out and i have loads of you want to create an impression Exactly. Right. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to use a tiny little bit. I'm just going to get a good colour. Now this is the Clarence concealer as well. It's Clarence. Just, I just happen to have all the Clarence next to me. Um, one of a group of products and an Irish blogger uh, called Amy Connolly. She has a fabulous range called Sculpted, and I have her. And what I might do is the next time I will do the same thing with a different um, range of products. Mm, range of yeah. products. Okay? okay. So what we want to do, okay, I'm going to just go up here. We want to divide our face in two. So where you'll have most of kind of like anybody who'd have redness or anything like that, it's always going to be in this side of the face. So you want to just really put as much product from here out, if you know what I mean. So we're, we're working from the nose this way, chin this way and forward, and we only want to do half a face. Okay? So would you do that? Would you divide your face in two? No. No. Okay. <laughs> All around. All around, right. So we're going to do, and we're all going to go downwards okay because the little fine hairs on the face if you go this way the little fine hairs will stand out more it's not saying that you have any fine hairs but generally speaking <laughs> thanks Mary <laughs> so we're just going to work it e even where you're putting the concealer would never occur to me to put oh this is our foundation oh this is yeah. the foundation oh yeah, sorry I'm, okay. going, I'm going to do this one first because okay. the, there's very little to conceal I have I have got a well, model that's too perfect Kaya is very young <laughs> my so. head's getting so big <laughs> youth is on her side so we're just doing a little bit and working it out because so it's really natural and that's what we want to do so the next big question would be people would say how much um, what colour should I go for and where would I go for it so an awful lot of people will use their hand or they'll use their neck so you actually need to put a little bit on your face. You're nearly better off to go in somewhere with no makeup on to get a good foundation. And the amount of people who will have bottles and bottles of foundations at home that don't suit them. So if what you're trying to aim for as natural as possible, that'll blend without making, you know, that edge on your jawline. The, or tan, the, the tan line that yeah. looks like a yellow streak. Yeah. You want it to be as natural as possible. And they, all the top makeup artists will say, have two foundations, have one lighter and one darker so you can blend them coming into, like now into the spring season or into the summer so that you'll always have that perfect shade. So we're only going that little bit. So now we have half a face done and we can turn, you can see... The There's difference. The difference. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we have absolutely fabulous skin all together. So again, a tiny I'm only using a tiny amount on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take it this way. So I'm gonna start again just in by the nose and I'm gonna blend out. And blend downwards with my brush. Uh, what's what's the thinking behind doing half a face at a time? Because you can see if there's any unevenness. You know, okay. it, it just, it makes it, if you go like this, you kind of miss patches. Whereas if you kind of go nose, chin, forehead, and up, kind of up around the eye area, you will actually get a much more even tone. And you want to get into the ears, you want to go behind here. So with makeup, you want to have no 
visible lines anywhere. And when it comes to doing your concealer, at the end of it, when you have your eye makeup done, I'll always use concealer around here where the eyeshadow might fall. And it gives a, that's a really good tip when you're finished your eyes. You'll have a perfect finish to your makeup then. Okay. Well, can I say, for many years, I thought that if you wanted to disguise bags under your eyes, you put loads of concealer under your eyes. Okay. But in actual fact, that has the opposite effect. It doesn't disguise them. It makes them twice as obvious. Well, you know, it is as you get older. I think you can get away with that when you're younger. But as you get older, it tends to can go right into where you don't want people to be. It sits in the wrinkles. It sits in the wrinkles, yeah. yeah. And if people are attracted to what wears dry around the eye. So what you really want is you want very, very little product and you want to... So where the light will take this here, you're trying to imagine a V under the eye. So I, I'm a great believer in <laughs> dividing the face into different tri triangles. Zones, yeah. Zones, right? So we have a triangle under our face and you really want the light to be tipping kind of like where the top of the cheekbone is there. You want to bring it down to it. If you find you have an awful lot of lines under there, you don't want to go too close to the eye but you can put your concealer on top of your brow so it'll give a great base for your eyeshadow so an awful lot of people would say that I find my eyeshadow has gone after about an hour and a half if you put on your concealer as a base for up here you'll find your on eyeshadow on your eyelid on your eyelid it will okay. actually last it'll much longer it'll keep the shadow yeah. in place so you only need a small amount and you're kind of making that V here so you're, tr you're looking at a triangle just under the eye so you want to go down down and here just to take away any of that darkness and again, you can apply the foundation or your concealer over the eye as well. And that'll give a great um, base for your all your makeup for the day. Or if you're flying in the morning, if you get your foundation, your concealer, your bronzer and your blusher and a little bit of lippy, you're out the door, you're fine. And this, and this like now is taking us longer. You'd have this done in five minutes in the morning. So we're just going to put a tiny little bit on here, which I'd say at this stage. And this dries really fast. This concealer from um, Lancome dries really fast. So it, it goes on quite liquidy. But when you actually apply it, it dries in really fast. So we're going to work really fast with this one. So and which one? That's a Lanco one, is it? Yeah. So, no, this one is, uh, again, the Cla Clarins. Clarins one. again, yeah. yeah. We're, okay. we're doing matching products today. All okay. right. So we're going to go just down here and make that little V here. And we're going to close the eye and we're going to go over as well. And that is going to... So do you know if there's any kind of anybody who's had those little blue veins up around the eyes that they want to disguise? This is a great way of doing it in the morning as well. Great. Straight away, I can see the the lift in Kaya's face. I mean, she she's young and has lovely skin anyway, but she, I, I can see the difference straight away from when you started doing her makeup. So you don't it's really amazing. want to go that close to the eye. You just want to make that little light. So, and I would go a light, shade or two lighter with your concealer. So you just want to bring that light to the face, lighter than than your foundation lighter color. Than your foundation, so it looks like you have you've doing everything right you're sleeping eight hours you're drinking all the water you're eating all the right foods and that is imperfect do <laughs> <laughs> so you have a wonderful lifestyle now right, and that looks so much better now so we're with our bronzer what we want to do is we want to it's really where the sun will hit you so again we're back to my triangle now we're going to do the figure of three so it's up here and it's like a smile under the cheekbone and a smile under there Okay, so we're going one, two, three. Like a three backwards. And the same on the other, yeah. Exactly. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Right, okay. So we're going to With use... bronzer. And do you, do you wear bronzer all year round? Yeah, bronzer you all do. year You do? You can, okay. all year round. And it's really going to give that lovely colour and warmth to, to your skin. So what ha tends to happen is people tend to go a little bit crazy with bronzer and they maybe too much of it. So what you really need to do is you need to put it on and you need to shake off any excess. So you're just getting a nice amount and you can build on it. Go to slowly and build on your bronzer until you're used to it. Okay, so this is the two shade bronzer, so you have your light and dark here, so it it gives a nice colour to it. So I'm so we're going up here, we're going under there and here. Now you can hear Almost see over that. to her ear, is it? Oh yeah, into yeah, the ear into even. The ear, I even yeah. I'd always make it if I was like somebody was going to a wedding now, I'd always make sure their ears had it as well because it can look funny if your foundation and your um you have your ears are just ears. <laughs> okay, and that is again a clar a lovely clar Clarence is gorgeous, isn't bronzer. it? Yeah. So we're just going under here. So now I've put a very little on, but I'm going to work on this now. I'm going, we're going building. And you know, wh what I notice about what you've done with Kaya's face, it all looks really natural. Yes. It doesn't look like she's caked with makeup. And that is the kind of like... If that's the idea. That's the whole, whole idea is <laughs> yeah. to look as natural as possible. Okay. So it just looks like that you're just being sun-kissed. So if the sun was to, to kiss you, it would be here, here and here. Okay. So you're out and about, you're getting a little bit of sun kissed without having any SPF damage. Well, look, okay. we've we've a load of questions for you, and you you know what? Since you have a model there beside you, okay. you might as well demonstrate. Okay. On 
Kaya's face oh, this to is answer the question. Doing. <laughs> exactly. Um, to answer the actual questions. Uh, listener says, Rosemary says, when you're applying SPS factor to the face, should one apply right up to beneath the eyes or should one apply only as far as the area of bone beneath the eye, the place where the eye cream is usually applied? Yeah, and that is sometimes an... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> The reason an awful lot of people will stop using SPF is that it actually goes into their eyes and irritates it. So I would avoid the eye area because I just find it irritates the eye and it can burn. I'd met somebody yesterday whose underneath her eye was all burned from SPF too close to the actual eyelash. Um, you really want it, and you, the sun isn't really going to, like you, if you have your SPF here, there's no need to go into near the eye area because it'll only irritate it. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I would, like, again, I would let that set in before I would do any of my makeup, I, and I'd let it work. I'd let the SPF do what it's supposed to do. Okay, so not right under up the, to the eye. eye. No, no, right, not right up to it. Um, a, car- a North Curry caller wants to know, which is better, the stick concealer or the liquid concealer? Um, it's really down to preference. I like both. Um, I find the stick is really good if I'm in a flying in the morning because um, I can do that little um, lovely triangle very quickly in the morning. Um, but then if I have time and I'm going out, I'll probably use a liquid one. Okay. Uh, a texter says, I find my eyelids are drooping and look puffy. I was never like that. It makes me down, especially when I look at photographs of myself. I'm 69. I'm using Sensibo eye uh, I, I'm not sure what that says um, but it's not working it's it's some kind of I think the, the text message got garbled there but um, it's Sensibo anyway whatever yeah. that is um, it's not working I try pushing up the eyelids is there any cure for this please right well since last last oh my god it has been four weeks ago was we were talking about the Clarence roller the amount of people who said they've got the roller and they found the difference around their eyes from the exact area that it, it was starting to droop and they were doing it morning and night and um, I'm actually the next month I'll actually bring in the roller and I'll do a demo with the actual oils and how to do it but that roller is particularly good for around the eye area because I'm exactly like that I have found my eyes have drooped an awful lot and I definitely find that roller there's something in it, it it's stronger and you can get a lovely lift with the eyes now it's, it's only temporary it's not going to make them stay that way you're going to have to do it morning and night but it's only like two or three minutes in the morning and then you'll find out all your eye cream because the eye cream that you're using is probably absolutely fantastic it's probably just something just to get stimulated um, so that that puffiness and droopiness goes away so invest in an eye roller yeah um, and it like it, you can use it for different aspects and I'll do a demo on next month of how to, how to use it how to use it uh, listener is 51 she says she's tired of putting layers on her face she has sensitive skin she said I put serum under my moisturiser do I really need to wear serum yeah serum is probably one of the most um one of the most important steps in skincare because it'll deep it'll works deeper into your dermis. So had you say dry skin and you wanted something to boost the skin, if you have a hyaluronic serum, it'll work much better. So if you're rushing your moisturizer, which your SPF is key, but in the evening time I definitely use my SPF and if you can try to use it in the morning as well to get a double whammy. Texter says, Mary, I have very sensitive skin and I find primer doesn't suit me. Any tips for her? Okay, I wonder, is it just that the primers are irritating or is it, the you know, the primer is, is too much product together? But if a primer that is for sensitive skin will should be fine. It shouldn't irritate the skin. Another listener says, how do I conceal smoker's lines when I'm applying makeup? Now, Kai is not a smoker. Right, that is such a good question because... If what happens it tends again like around the eye area it tends to go into it so you can use your tiny amount of concealer and I would say pat it into the skin let it in and then put your foundation over it'll just help conceal it another really good idea if you have, if have smokers lines is that when you put on say your lip line and you need to if you're trying to disguise that and this isn't what you wouldn't do this every day it's only for that occasion I would put a white eyeliner over your actual lip liner and it kind of takes away from the smoker's lines so a concealer first then your foundation and when you're putting on your lipstick outline it like normally and then a white line all over and then fill in your lips and that'll take from the the lines some bit okay very good a load of people asking about the vitamin C and uh, a couple of people wanting to know when you refer to vitamin C do you mean taking it in tablet form or is it some cream you put to your face yeah so any serum serum. so uh, vitamin C and retinol would be known as your antioxidants so they would be like your strong things that you're using so if you were worried about like pigmentation and fine lines 
you'd use your vitamin C by day and you'd use your retinol by night and the retinol will help the cell turn, turn over and your vitamin C will help the, give that lovely brightening effect. So it's something that you apply in your serum before your um, moisture in, sorry, and SPF in the morning. Yeah, and the, the the vitamin C serum I found was a Garnier one that's yep. in CH and it didn't break the bank. bank it yeah. wasn't expensive. And you can go from the, the like from Garnier up to the like to any of the, you know, pharmacy, the cosmeceuticals um, out there, some from Stronger. And you might find that as time goes on, you might want something a little bit stronger, you know, down the road. And there's such a variety out there, but it's making sure you get that vitamin C on your skin every every day. Excellent. Well, we're we're nearly out of time. Is sure. there? Oh, you want to put on some blusher? Of course. <laughs> how could we forget the blusher? <laughs> right. So we have our bronzer and we have our foundation. And again, it's a really natural look. We've no eyes done. We've no lips done. We've no mascara. Nothing like that. But we have now everything is covered. There's all the pigment. Anything in the skin looks even tone, and that's what you want to do when you're putting on your foundation is an even tone. A lot of Irish people are very scared of getting the blusher because they have the redness anyway. So what you you do you want that lovely glow to your skin so I'm going to go do big big smile for me so these gorgeous cheekbones is what you want to really emphasize so it's just there but you want you want to blend as well so I'm using the same brush as I use my bronzer and I'm using this lovely which isn't too peachy or too you know that rosy but it's, it's going to give a lovely tone so you literally only want to give so you're going to big smile big again big smile again Kaya's always <laughs> smiling anyway so you just want to get that gorgeous cheekbones there and you with this one with your bronzer how you've come down sorry it's a hit and you with a makeup brush you want to get the you want to get your blusher up so your bronzer is coming down in that three your blusher is coming up and it's just giving that a little glow to the skin and again you can build in this so by daytime just a little a little amount but nighttime you can go heavier on your bronzer heavier on your blusher and that should last you if you were to test this this should last you until this time tomorrow but you will take your makeup off tonight but this won't budge until tomorrow as someone says how long can I how long after applying the primer can I shave so Ooh, I would do beforehand 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 yeah. I, you know any shaving do beforehand and primer then afterwards primer afterwards uh, another list who says I have cancerous lesions removed from both or had cancerous lesions removed from both cheeks and I'm told I need to wear complete sunblock from now on can I wear makeup over that oh yeah absolutely yeah um, once once you have your SPF on and there's no um, open areas once like everything has healed after you know anything that's been removed is perfectly healed you can use your SPF and foundation yeah, absolutely. The old sunblock is so important. It's isn't so it? important, yeah. yeah, yeah, and and I think it's great because the younger generation are so into it now; they won't go anywhere out their SPF. Yeah, yeah and which it's is great. And I wish we'd known that back in the day, Mary, you yeah, and I, huh? Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Listen, you've fabulous products there, but um, I think you might be doing a little separate photo or video of of those. Absolutely, but yeah. um, loads of newbies. We're, we're going to have to to wrap up, unfortunately. So, Mary, where are we going to start? Okay, I've there. I've had a. A different selection for everybody, right? So what's really popular with the younger people at the moment are emergency dots, right? So these are for your get a spot at night time. You apply a little dot. It helps to take down the inflammation, the soreness in the skin. But they are so popular um, with kind of a huge age group at the moment. And these are called emergency dots. OK, mm -hmm. so okay, brilliant. very different. Garnier, we were talking about um, the micellar water, but this is a new one from Garnier. What it does is it's an eye makeup remover, it's a cleanser, but it's also an exfoliator and it smells gorgeous. So this is uh, the new gentle peeling water. So you're going to get all that peeling effect and you're going to get your cleansing all in this way. All right. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up as well. So I've got a lovely candle from Sanctuary. Seven ninety nine. It's not going to break the bank. And smells so nice as Perfect well. Perfect for bath times, I think. Yes. And then if there's a massive family and they want to get something like a lot more expensive, Giorgio Armani have brought out My Way, which is a beautiful little bottle and it looks gorgeous. The retinol that we were talking about earlier, uh, New Dermalogica have brought this out. This is very good for anybody who would have very oily skin, acne skin, because it's going to increase cell turnover. And at the same time, the, this um, is going to be very good for anybody who has fine lines and wrinkles. Again, because the cell turnover needs to be increased as you get older. So for two different reasons, it's good for two different skin types. Um, mascara with lash building. So for anybody who's had their lashes uh, extended and find their own lashes aren't great at the moment. Serum is great, but if you want your lashes to get back to looking a little bit longer, you have your fibres that's going to build up the lashes and then you have your mascara. This is from L'Oreal to give it up a nice look. Uh, and we have a new foundation from Lancome. And my mascara that I have found absolutely that one of the best mascaras I have ever used. This is from LA Girl and this is called Plush Lash. It's really good if you want the lift. Somebody was asking me recently, um, is there a difference between the wands and getting what you want? 
I like a nice lift to the lashes. And if you want to lift, um, this is this guy. Uh, if you're looking for doing your makeup and you want a nice little pretty set, lovely headband and your roller. And again, $7.99, lovely present for mom as well. Looks perfect. Thanks, Mary. Thank you.